Good, good morning. Um, I, my name is Christoph Michalak. Um, I'm coordinating, coordinating work on environmental governance and finance in the region of Eastern Europe, Caucasus and Central Asia um, in the OECD Environment Directorate. Uh, I would like to welcome all of you who join us uh, today, but also tomorrow, uh, for this meeting that will discuss the role of uh, the green bonds and progress in establishing a green securities market that are considered as, as a major step that can help mobilize funds uh, for the transition to a green economy and the achievements of the goals under the Paris Agreement. This uh, meeting is part of the project uh, Greening Debt Capital Markets in the EU Easter Partner Countries and the role of green bonds in financing the low carbon transition. The OECD analysis uh, covers countries of Easter Partnership, those are uh, Armenia, Azerbaijan and Georgia in the Caucasus region, as well as uh, Ukraine and... Sorry, but also we included uh, we included Kazakhstan is in our analysis since this is the first country in Central Asia that in has introduced uh, green bonds. I would like to uh, express our great thanks to the financial support for this work that comes from the European Union through the EU for Environment uh, program, as well as from Germany, uh, German Federal Ministry for Environment, Nature Conservation, Nuclear Safety and Consumer Protection through the International Climate Initiative. Uh, at this point, I meant to repeat uh, the technical de details, so I will do it just for the sake of those who just joined. So certainly we are welcome to your particip active participation in the meeting, uh, but please remember to keep your microphone muted when you're not speaking and remember to turn this on when you do wish to speak. Uh, please use the chat function, share your questions, share your relevant information. That certainly that's a, also an opportunity to learn more from different sources about, uh, about the developments in the, in the, in the region. Um, please use uh, the raise hand button if you wish to, uh, to, to speak or just raise or wave your hand and we will be recognizing you. Russian English interpretation is available uh, please select uh, from the bottom of the screen and the meeting is recorded for internal purposes and we will, uh, if we consider using publicly some, the, some parts of, of, of the meeting that we will seek uh, from the speakers their permission. A few words about the objectives. The major objective of the meeting is to discuss and calibrate the main findings and conclusions that have emerged from our analysis of the role of that capital market in, in the region. Um, the more specifically, we will be looking at current opportunities and constraints to local capital markets development to raise and scale up finance for green investment. We will hear about experience from the Eastern Partnership countries and Kazakhstan, as, as, as well as from other regions. And then we will also look at possible areas for further regional and country level work that the international partners and countries, financial institutions, international finance institutions, the private sector can do to, uh, to play even more catalytic role. I would like to uh, refer to a discussion paper that was uh, that is available and I believe also you've received this before and uh, we will be also making the, uh, this um, document available from through to the chat uh, um, uh, part of our, of our meeting. So the background report, on uh, green bonds in, in, in the region has been written uh, by Stanislav Dubko, Alex Lehmann, uh, David, David Paris, and Georg Zachmann under the guidance of uh, Alex Lehmann. Uh, Manuel uh, von Mattenhain and Frank Meissner also contributed to this uh, very interesting report and, and a paper draws on several interviews that have been concluded with the local stakeholders in the uh, from the countries between August and December 21. Very briefly about the agenda, uh, we uh, will have uh, the opening session and, and we'll welcome uh, colleagues from the European uh, Commission and from 
German, Germany, our key sponsors. Thanks for, for joining us for this meeting. Uh, and after opening remarks, we will uh, have, uh, today we have three sessions. Session two will look at um, basically the definition, some of the overview of, of bond market and, and, the, and the role of green bonds in general. And then we'll zoom in and present the main findings from, from the report uh, at the regional level and also some country specific uh, insights. Uh, in the uh, session three, we will look at the challenges and, and the possible future developments in the region uh, in, in the context of capital markets, but also we will look at the particular impact of, of the war in Ukraine uh, that is sending waves uh, through the world uh, in, in, in also in the, in the context of capital market operations. We'll also in this session look at the alternative models the transition bonds and sustainability, sustainability linked bonds. Uh, and session four uh, today will look at the, at the investors' perspective. So we'll hear about the uh, the perspectives for the attractiveness of the of the region and the role of rating agencies. We hope today to conclude uh, before one o'clock. Mm, and still, we, we are inviting you to come back tomorrow. Uh, for the meeting uh, that will start at 10 o'clock uh, Paris, Brussels time. So please, and then we will introduce the agenda uh, also tomorrow, which will look at the role of governments and regulators, support by international finance institutions and other Euro European institutions. And then we will have a concluding uh, session at the end. This is all for me. I <clears throat> would now like to give the honor to moderate the, uh, the session today uh, to Michaela Hauf, who is the team leader for green and, and connectivity at director at DigiNeer uh, of the European Commission. Michaela, from now on, you have the floor. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Christoph, for uh, introducing me, but also for introducing uh, today's meeting. We have a very packed agenda and that's why I will not uh, make any more uh, remarks and hand the floor right away to uh, my deputy head of unit, Mr. Nikola Sentrovic from uh, Digineer, who will provide us a bit uh, with what I always call the bigger picture of where we currently stand to set the scene for today's meeting. Nick, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Just checking, I'm uh, following all of uh, Christoph's uh, instructions here. Thanks, Michaela. So, dear participants, dear colleagues, good morning. I would like to warmly welcome you and express our gratitude to the OECD for convening this discussion in the framework of the EU for Environment Programme. And I would also like to thank Germany for the support provided uh, to this work in the spirit of uh, Team Europe. Environment and climate resilience um, need to be at the core of our recovery from the pandemic and the resulting economic crises. I think it will also be at the core of our recovery from the uh, war of aggression against uh, Ukraine and all of those consequences. This is the essence of our Eastern partnership policy, i.e. the green transition. Um, and um, uh, if I go back to the war of aggression, uh, the Russian war of aggression against the Ukraine, besides causing uh, human tragedy and harm to the environment, this war is also disrupting the global energy and food markets. As regards the energy crisis, the European Union is uh, very much working to save energy, diversify imports, uh, accelerate the clean energy transition under a framework of energy security. And due to the European Green Deal, we have already embarked on the path towards climate neutrality. But the climate crisis um, is running in parallel. This is posing an existential threat uh, that requires a rapid phase out of fossil fuels and a deep transformation of the way that we manage our economies, our livelihoods and our relationship with the planet. We have shared commitments as regards climate mitigation and adaptation, and we need to deliver on these commitments. This implies undertaking massive investments far beyond what the public sector alone can do, 
The European Green Deal identifies priority sectors for investments such as energy, housing, industry and transport. And many of these sectors are essential for your country's green transition. In this context, green finance represents a real potential given the high energy and carbon intensity of the Eastern Partnership and Kazakhstan's economies. But it also represents a challenge as we need to make the business case for mobilizing uh, green finance. This workshop and the analysis conducted by the OECD will help us understand better the magnitude of the challenge that we face, as well as possible solutions. The green bonds are going to be a useful addition to the toolbox that we already have. The priority areas for EU support have been outlined in our economic and investment plans for the Eastern Partnership, and these are going to be complemented by the Rebuild Ukraine Reconstruction Plan. In this, the EU um, would like to be or aspires to be a front runner and an enabler on the international scene because we would like to lead and motivate by example. The EU's work on green bonds is one of the many examples where the EU makes a difference for its member states and the world. And as part of the next generation EU um, program and budget, the European Commission issued in uh, last October a 12 billion euro green bond to finance sustainable investments across the European Union. This represents the largest, the world's largest green bond issuance ever. Um, and on the 6th of June, the European Commission received the award for this largest green supranational bond in 2021 and the supranational green market pioneer awards for our next generation EU green bonds program. Um, later, our colleague Lisa Klinger will tell you more about the Commission's international engagement in promoting uh, green bonds. Um, so we hope to be able to continue your uh, supporting your countries in the future on this basis. Um, thank you very much. I'm going to hand the floor uh, back to Michaela as the moderator of this event. Thank you very much, uh, Nick, for uh, first of all outlining a bit the geopolitical landscape in which we're operating uh, right now, but also uh, putting again the climate crisis into focus uh as well as mentioning uh what we're doing in the eu not only on green bonds but also in terms of support for our eastern partners uh thank you very much for this and now i would like to give the floor to our colleague from germany mr jürgen kleinhorst the head of regional division for africa middle east eastern europe and central asia from the federal ministry for environment nature conservation nuclear safety and consumer protection in short BMUV, which I think is not such a big mouthful and easier to pronounce. Mr. Kleinhorst, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you very much, Michaela. Thank you, Christoph, uh, dear colleagues, uh, dear participants of this uh, seminar. It's a great pleasure for me uh, in these challenging times uh, to convene with representatives from the region, from the Eastern Partnership, uh, as well as from Central Asia even if it's uh, only virtually, uh, but in this regard, at least uh, we see some progress. So by the end of this month, we will have a, a, a physical meeting of the OECD in uh, Tbilisi. Uh, therefore, maybe one or the other uh, can, we will see uh, again, uh, as all these activities also um, are uh, taking place uh, in the wider environment uh, of the, uh, environment for Europe uh, by in, in October this year, we will have the next ministerial in Cyprus. And I think um, this seminar can also give uh, some valuable input uh, for this UNECE Environmental Ministers uh, Conference. Um, OECD, as most of you know, is working uh, in the area, uh, especially while it's this Green Action Task Force. Uh, in both regions already for more than uh, two decades uh, in the field of environment. Um, and therefore it's best positioned to bring together both communities from the environment as well as from the financing uh, sector. And this is, um, I think, why, why the EU and at least uh, Germany uh, is strongly supporting related activities um, of the OECD. 
Um, originally, uh, we have um, initiated the discussion on greening debt capital markets, uh, especially the role of uh, green bonds uh, to respond to the challenge as um, how to get the transition to low or zero um, carbon uh, economies and the increasing needs uh, to um, protect the environment and the biodiversity. Um, how to get all these uh, challenges um, and needs uh, financed. So this is an ongoing discussion um, in the context uh, of, of the task force already for four years. Um, therefore, it's not, not just now, um, but uh, uh, we have realized over the time uh, that especially uh, this region is lagging behind other regions in the world in this regard. Uh, and therefore, in our uh, support activities, um, uh, we should have a stronger focus uh, on, the, on the capital markets, uh, as well as on financing instruments, and uh, especially this green bond issue. Um, it is still a need and a top priority. It was already mentioned the context uh, to, uh, to the international climate policy, but, but now due to the war in Ukraine and the unlawful act of military aggression by the Russian Federation, uh, which has also massive negative uh, impacts on the neighboring countries, especially in the Caucasus and Central Asia, and not to forget about all the pandemia, uh, the situation regarding financing um, has become even more uh, complicated. Uh, just to name a few uh, developments, the country risks are definitely rising. Uh, the debt burden has increased already due to the pandemia. Maybe now it's, it's um, a new challenge. Um, it was already mentioned the situation uh, and the, the global waves due to the war, uh, especially on fuel security. Um, we are facing mainly so far uh, due to the um, pandemia uh, disrupted uh, supply chain. Uh, the access to capital becomes even more difficult and generally the interest rates um, are rising. Uh, so these um, effects um, um, will also have a, a, an important relevance for what we are discussing here in, in this context. Uh, there is another uh, development we cannot uh, really evaluate at, at this time, but which could also become a major issue due to the war and due to this situation with uh, disrupted uh, supply chain. Uh, the resilience of economies becomes a more important uh, issue. Uh, it becomes really a top priority now, apart from uh, the climate policy. Um, and um, the effects of these uh, building more resilient economies, uh, we cannot judge what it means um, in, in concrete uh, for our agenda. Um, but it, it affects negatively trade and trade relations and globalization. Um, it means also increased uh, costs um, and maybe even also less access to capital. So that should be taken into consideration as well. Um, and it's definitely uh, also addressing all the questions uh, discussed in this meeting today. Um, for all of us, uh, I think it's um, uh, absolutely clear here in this community uh, that issuing of bonds issue of green bonds is not like only printing uh, money. Uh, so it, it's about um, how to build up an effective framework and framework conditions um, as a key point for making such uh, issuing of bonds and at least uh, and in general, the access or better access to capital uh, as, as a key point. Um, the agenda of this meeting uh, will focus on the experience of some countries. So we have some good examples. Uh, Kazakhstan was already mentioned. Um, I also would like to mention Georgia. Uh, OECD has uh, a long-standing cooperation with the Minister of Finance and the Central Bank in this regard. Um, in this meeting, technical issues will play an important role to really uh, um, or give good input to the experts in this regard so that we can also see uh, some uh, progress on the, on the, on the ground uh, concerning the technical issues. I would like uh, shortly um, to, to mention some um, aspects which are discussed and which are important um, in the political environment as well. 
Um, so a key point for all of these activities to make them a success uh, is that there is a business case. So especially when it comes to infrastructure, um, it will not work issuing only bonds if there are no cost recovering tariffs, then there is no business case. Uh, so this is important for the environment. The second point also relevant in this context is that carbon becomes more expensive. So uh, there will be definitely uh, developments that carbon pricing uh, will play an important role. So prices for CO2 emissions will increase um, and this will affect the economic landscape as well. I also would like to mention uh, the, 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 the manifold discussed uh, CBAM, this carbon border adjustment. And of course, this plays also an important role or will play in the future an important role for the trade relations um, with the EU. Um, another important uh, point, not only in this context, is um, that we have clear, reliable and transparent framework conditions. So this is mainly something uh, which the governments in the region uh, have to, to guarantee. And this is an area where also OCD is working for years uh, to, to support uh, the respective um, legislation um, and, and framework in the countries of the region. And as a last point, I also would like to mention uh, the, the rule of environmental harmful subsidies. This has also to be addressed in the wider context um, as uh, the subsidies, the harmful subsidies mean also a barrier uh, for uh, constructive development in the field of um, decarbonization uh, as well as in the field of environment. And maybe in this financial context is also worth mentioning um, that uh, the, 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 the money, the budget used for such wrong directed uh, subsidies is also limiting uh, the debt uh, um, possibilities for the respective countries. Um, and at the end, bond issues, in, at least when it comes from the public uh, sector, also means increasing the debt load and could be a barrier. Um, and maybe we have discussed this um, previously, in previous years uh, with Ukraine in the context of energy efficiency subsidies um, to uh, reduction. Um, it could uh, also give an opportunity by the uh, reducing of such harmful subsidies uh, to allow for structural reforms, which in that special case maybe could also allow an increased debt uh, uh, threshold, um, even uh, from an IMF uh, perspective. So it's a wider context. Um, the, the green bonds are an important issue in this regard. Um, I would very much appreciate if as a contribution to the political debate in this regard, the workshop could also um, help to evaluate the rule of green bonds uh, against other financial instruments, for example, guarantees and concessional loans. Anyway, it would be uh, very important to have an additional instrument for the region uh, to allow to, to address all these challenges mentioned. Uh, your recommendations will be very much uh, welcomed. And in this sense, I thank you um, and um, I wish you all um, a very good and fruitful uh, meeting today and uh, tomorrow.